Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Gundam Breaker 4. It's a beautiful day outside. I'm inside playing with toys. Uh, I I edited my my Gunpla a little bit again, obviously, as I intend to do. I gave him a giant gun. Also, Gatling guns on his hands. So that will be fun. Let's go ahead and do a mission. I think I'm just going to hop right into a story mission this time. We're on mission 10, so this might be like... This might be like the last part of chapter two. We'll see. Because chapter one had five missions, so they might... They might both have five. Okay. Where she belongs, Sheena invites Retcon on a mission together, but... I hope she doesn't start coming on to me. Well, that would be disturbing. I gotta turn auto on, so I don't have to click a whole bunch. Hello! Oh! I'm sorry. I was so lost in thought. I almost didn't notice you there. That's okay. I've been... People never notice me. ...distracted lately. <laughs> um... What would you do if... Someone important to you demanded you give up something you love. Probably kill them, I guess. <laughs> I, I would kill them. Yes, simply put, like a hobby or a sport, a passion, the thing that you love doing most, the thing you'd never want to lose. Is someone is your rich dad trying to make you give up playing with gunpla? I guess I'm probably not making much sense. You could just be specific. This game isn't really the place for serious talk like that. My apologies. My character's a weirdo. To run into you. There is a particular mission I'd like to try if you have the time. Sure, I why not? Had fun with Tao and Lilin yesterday, but would you go with me today? Just us? Of course. I've got that swag. Thank you. Well then, let's get started. It's just you and me, baby. Let's go. All right. There's probably going to be something that happens, right? Not much. Uh, yeah, there's my other big double Gatling gun. I could probably put more, but I thought this was good for now. Also, the big beam rifle thing on the other hand. Away I go! Here I come. The Gatling gun weapons are pretty cool, though, I do have to say. Oh, I think they're pretty neat. I haven't used one in a mission yet, though. Ooh, new area. Snow. Field suppression mission. Here I come with all my guns and dun 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 dun. There we go. Come here, you. Oh, God. Axes. Oh yeah, this one like okay, you can charge it up, and it shoots a big blast. It shoots a big brain blast. All right, hold on. I wanna. Uh, where's my? Well, that's the that's the thing that I have. Ooh, ground burst. Nice. Where's my um? I don't know what happened to... Oh, it's 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 that picture. Okay. It's pretty cool. I couldn't find out where my Gatling gun ability was. Hey, there we go. That's pretty cool. You can shoot the Gatling gun for a really long time, too. That's kind of crazy. Bam. It just takes forever to reload. Let's go. Oh yeah, I have the axe ability. That's pretty cool.
Wouldn't you like all my kicks? Now, what I need is to get... <laughs> to get two guns. Two Gatling guns that can just do that. Constantly. <laughs> of course I S-ranked. Would you expect anything less? I don't know if I prefer, like, the Gatling gun or, like, the 180mm cannon. That thing was badass. It was badass. Also, I have, like, no area of effect weaponry right now. I almost pity these enemies. Why? They're, they're robots. Forced to fight us, regardless of what they might want. Sorry, it's nothing. I mean that it's like that's like feeling bad for bots in Call of Duty. <laughs> okay. Come here, you. I'll just keep it chopping. There we go. Oh, this guy has like the big funnel pod things. It's kind of cool. Oh my god. It's the double O with the big sword. Everyone loves that guy. He's a cool guy. Ow. Man, <laughs> I do I do have to say I like the the break the break mechanic in this game. I I kind of it makes me want to play other other gunplay games, honestly. This guy just can't do damage to me, essentially. So, I don't know what I'm, what I'm so worried about. Me. Have my energy, I think it's an energy Gatling gun. That one. Oh, it, it does a lot. <laughs> it does a lot of damage. Mission completed. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what Sheena's story is gonna be besides just being like, "I am rich. My rich daddy wants me to give up Gunpla, but I must show him how much I love Gunpla, so he'll understand that it is about joy and freedom." You again, huh? <laughs> you again, huh? Double O Razor. Oh, he's gonna shoot at me with a sword. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. I wish it was a little bit easier to like target the breakpoints, but it's kind of not. Oh, that was cool. Here we go. This seems like a good idea. I'll just use my axe a whole bunch. Wow, I'm doing a lot of damage to him. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. Whoop. Here, have this. Wow, sometimes the break things, like, the break parts don't, don't, uh, appear for very long either. 
No, damn it all. Come on, Sheena. Can you, like, help me take his shield down or something? See how long the breakpoint showed up for? It was, like, literally maybe one second. It's kind of crazy. We really got to take his shield out. Ooh. Oh, that was sick, actually. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, God. That's a cheap-ass move. I don't really know how you're supposed to, like, dodge that one where he shoots a laser at you from directly above. It's kind of... Also, it wouldn't let me air dash there. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I'm just constantly dodging, and it doesn't... Even if you constantly dodge, it doesn't seem to work. That move seems like it's kind of almost undodgeable. Okay, please, like, actually hit him. <laughs> like, clipping on his big butt. I'm clipping on his giant ass. Don't even care. Come at me, bro. I'm gonna do this again. Don't even worry about it. Where are you? Yeah, see, I don't know... I don't know. That one's kind of annoying. How is my health coming back so fast? My health is, like, regenning automatically. I don't really know why, actually. I mean, I'm not complaining. Oh, shit, I'm doing zero damage. Like, yeah, I don't know. Just get hit by it, I guess. That's all you can do. All right, double O Razor. Stop being annoying. Shouldn't he be dead? <laughs> what? Okay, thank you. a fine battle, don't you think? A fight to remember, thanks to you. Thank you for being here to share it with me. Mission complete. Returning. Good job, me. Now, we'll answer the question of... Is that the end of Act 2? Or Chapter 2? Probably not. Maybe? I don't know. Melee. Ooh, melee is a weapon type that uses follow-up attacks and extremely fast solo target attacks that can easily aim for parts loss maneuvers while also having extremely quick dodging capabilities. Long pressing the attack input during a combo creates a derivation for the consecutive attack. Nice. Interesting. Is this just a fist? It, I guess there's no picture of it because it's just your fist. We have a cool orange beam saber, though. It's a GN beam saber. Beam saber. A bunch of shitty rifles that are way too low for me to care about. Ooh. That's pretty sick. The Byrlant. Uh. Well, what is that? So what's the little blue symbol on the, like, head? Over there, by next to level 4. I wish there was something in this game that told you what all the symbols meant. Because there's not. You have to look it up online. Or figure it out yourself. And it's it's just like, come on, guys. Could you? This is, like, probably the most widely 
uh, played Gunpla uh, Gundam Breaker game. I feel like maybe some tutorials on what things in the Thank menus fucking mean me would have been a good idea. I was worried I might never get another chance to try that mission because of, um, I should probably be going. Also, I want to know, are there ever any other types of missions besides just kill everything? I know there's the defend the, th the point mission, but I've only seen that twice so far. And then the other two types of missions are destroy a specific Gundam or destroy a specific enemy and then f just destroy waves of enemies. But destroying a specific enemy plays exactly the same as destroying the waves. So there may as well be no difference besides the fact that the mission ends when you destroy the target. But like, so basically I've seen two mission types at this point. Actually, which is... Could you Fine. spare a moment to speak with me? I, I have guess. something I wish to ask you. I'm sorry. I know you're busy. Oh, ominous and music. It may be bad form to discuss such things here, where we all come to escape from our real lives, but this has to do with mine. Lynn asked before if I was a rich girl. The truth is, I do come from an old family, a rather important one, and that comes with expectations. As an only child, I was destined to inherit, to live a life free from hardship, as long as I followed the path set out for me. So, how do I explain something like this? I guess I became indifferent about my life. Wow. I Good tried for you. music, sports, art, everything my parents could think of. But knowing my future was set, it all felt hollow, pointless. That was until I discovered online games in school. And then later, I found GB4, and the world of Gunpla building, and Gunpla battles. I mean, it Gunpla building is art, I actually so... To do. I couldn't tell you why. Something about it just inspired me. I always had trouble fitting in because of my... my wealth. Oh my and god, I dude. Think... <laughs> okay, fine. But none of that matters mm. here. I could finally I'm just, just... Be me. I'm just too rich. I never fit in because I was so rich and so well off and my life was great. I just, I could never fit in because I was so fucking rich all the time. And all my it friends so were poor. To find enough free time though, and I didn't want to impede others' progress, so I avoided joining a clan until now. Also, like, I'm sorry, what else is taking up your free time? Are you, like, part of your parents' business or something? Or, like... You said you tried a bunch of different hobbies. What uh, what else are you doing? I mean, I know there's school, but like, what? <laughs> all right. But playing with you all is so much fun. You welcomed me, not caring who I was. <laughs> this is like. Unfortunately, <laughs> my real life seems to have finally caught up with me. I'm sorry. Who wrote this? I don't have time to log in while I'm dealing with my family's affairs. And I don't know how long it will take. But I want to enjoy myself as much as I can for now, while I still have the freedom to do so. Could we speak again, perhaps? If matters become unmanageable? If I truly have to go? Bro, I don't know what the fuck your family is doing where you'll never have time to play a video game ever again. What, what are you talking about, lady? You're nuts. No, let's kick her out of the coin. Thank you. You have been very kind to me. And please, don't tell anyone about this. I don't want to burden the others with my personal concerns, unless I have to. I don't know where they're going with this character. I'm kind of excited to see. Oh, cool, new chapter. A new feature has been unlocked. Synthesis is now available in assembly. So, I don't know where they're going with Sheena as far as her character is concerned. I have absolutely no idea, but right now it just seems so fucking out of touch. 
in a world where like people have less and less money as time goes on, it just seems really weird to have a character that's like, mm, I just never fit in anywhere because I'm so rich and my my parents are so important. I have so much money. Hello there. Uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't hate it. Like, I'm not gonna sit here and be like, no, this shouldn't be in the game. But like, I, I'm very interested to see where <laughs> where this shit's going. Parts synthesis. Okay, parts advance and parts upgrade will be added to items dropped when defeating enemies in battle. Using parts advance upgrade items will advance the rarity of the level of gunpla parts. You can, this can be selected from setup assembly in my room. Okay, well, I guess I gotta give that a try. I guess I have to give it a try. Do, 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 do. Uh, it's an assembly, right? Yeah. Assembly. So let's synthesize. So reinforcement synthesis and evolution synthesis can be performed on mobile suits and equipment parts. Reinforced synthesis. And reinforcement synthesis increases the parts level. Evolution synthesis increases the parts rarity. Can I ask a question again? Why the fuck is the text like squished all the way over to the left? What is this shit? What? All right, well, we made this game for people who are playing in 480p. When a part of an inherent ability is selected, synthesizing it will allow the base part to inherit the inherent ability. I feel like some of the tutorials could have used a rewrite too. Like they just said <laughs> inherent three times in one sentence. If the, base is, if the base part is synthesized with another part with the same type of inherent ability, the part will gain experience points to raise the level of the inherent ability. Uh, okay. Cool. I haven't been paying much attention to the ability slot. Rarity cap is 5, level cap 13. Right now my Jeggin is level 2. So, like, you can see over there, the level bar shows you how much experience you'll kind of get. Um, I should look for time reduction, recovery speed, and reaction speed, I guess. Like, here's an Aegis Gundam. I don't have any more, uh, Jagan heads, do I? I only have the one. Okay, let's let's see. What do I want to? Yeah, I have like these Zaku two heads. Let's do this one. Oh, okay, so it costs a hundred GP. Next, from this screen, you can select abilities to equip to a part's ability slot. If the selected material part comes with an ability, it can be inherited upon being enhanced. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. HP recovery per second. Maybe that's where it was coming from. So I have to switch it out. I guess I'll switch it out with Recovery Speed Rescue. Next. From this screen, you can check how parts will develop when they are synthesized. If you don't get the results you expect, uh, try reviewing the material parts you've selected. Okay, so it'll be level two. Is it my reaction speed will go up. And we'll synthesis. Oh, yes. I'm synthesizing! Alright, nice. Uh, cool. I get, So, I want to see how much it actually... Once I go up an actual level... What do I have, like, a bunch of doubles of? This will take me up to level 3 and increase my HP. Oh, you can go to plastic, but I don't have any yet. I think that, like, will level up your rarity with the plastic thing. But I'm not... I think that's how you level up rarity. But I'm not totally sure. Alright, we're gonna... We're gonna go with this Leo head. Recovery, speed, rescue, no thanks. See, those are gonna level up. Okay, so the abilities are leveling up when... When you synthesize something with the same ability. I see now. I see the little... Thing here. Oh, 
Yeah, level three. Hell yeah. All right, well, this is neat. I'm going to have to toy around with this more at, at some point. I also need to equip the greatsword. Actually, yeah, let me do that. Because uh, I want the achievement for doing the greatsword, too. So let's switch out maybe the axe. Alright, yeah, we'll switch the, the axe out for the... Yeah. I like how it says great sword as weapon type, but then they list it here as large sword. Like, that's... It's just so weird. There's so many weird little things like that, where they just call things, like, by different names randomly. I don't know. Yeah, we'll do this. The large sword. Great swords in melee can only be equipped as two-handed weapons. Okay. If either hand already has another item equipped, choosing these uh, weapon types will remove the equipment. Sounds good. I feel like you should be able to make a giant bulky mech that will wield more than one giant weapon. Okay, cool. We'll give it a shot. We'll give her a shot. But see what I mean? It keeps saying great swords in the description, and then the actual weapon type is large sword. I just... I don't know why there's so much disparity in the descriptions and text. This is the Mishkan, maybe <laughs> maybe Bandai was like, yeah, we just use fucking AI You're to welcome. translate everything. Alright, so now we have chapter three. A challenge from a Meister. Members decide to join a limited mission designed by Meister. But what fateful encounter is waiting for them here? Recommend parts level 13. Well, I've been doing really good. So... Maybe I maybe I'll do a a quest here. So I haven't done that many quests, and so now there's a bunch. I should do like all the quests in part one, maybe. Uh but I'm gonna do it how do I change difficulty? They're hardcore. Take on a gauntlet of giant bosses. Oh, recommend level twenty five. Fuck that. No, I don't wanna fight giant bosses right now. I did this one on Hardcore. No, I didn't. I did a story mission on Hardcore. That's right. Oh, let's do this one. Why not? <laughs> hey, hey! It's me! Oh, you can skip this? Oh, that's kind of cool. <laughs> I didn't know that. You can skip the little launch cutscene. Well, isn't that noise? 